And by getting to us, you mean devouring us like pieces of plant popcorn. That's unbelievable. Time for some action. How disturbing. Okay, not exactly the theatrical tragedy I was expecting. It's only for emergencies, but I think this qualifies. I'll say, but we're not out of the woods yet. The auxiliary power will only buy us an hour. We'll have to repair the main line. We'll also have to find out more about these invaders if we're going to defeat them. Hopefully they have some sort of weakness. A recon mission to save the world? Where do we sign up? Marshals, a mission of this variety is very risky. You'll have to be extremely sharp. Sharp is our middle name, sir. Only one small problemo. We have no idea where we're going. Hmm. Omni, do you remember exactly where you've seen those grossy plant creatures before? Well, if memory serves me correct, it was somewhere around the Omega-12 sector. Oh, you mean the same sector where we use our vast skills and knowledge to save you from Genghis? Yes, that is the place. In that case, I'm thinking we should bring Omni along to help us kick Batty Butt. And I'm thinking that's an awesome idea. Uh, sorry, uh, non-Galaxy High Marshals aren't allowed on official school assignments. Hmm, Brett does have a point. However, considering his extensive knowledge and the fact that he is a marshal at another academy, Omni will be an invaluable asset to the mission. <laughs> Thank you very much, Principal Kirkpatrick. Welcome to the team, buddy. Talk about a super group. With you on board, we're totally unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Hornet number one, this is Shooter. Control takeoff, stand by. Ready for takeoff. Let's go! Do you think they can pull it off, sir? I hope so, because time is running out. There are now 48 minutes of auxiliary power remaining. Thanks to my daring but direct driving, we made it back to Omega 12 in record time. Indeed, this is the area where I first saw the plant aliens. Then I'll do a bio scan of the planets in this sector. If there's life on any of them, I'll be able to find it. Good eye, Ultra Flap. Something funky's definitely going on down there. Stabilizers activated, check. Whoa, looks like this planet's been thrashed by some serious stormitude. Which might explain how the plant alien pods ended up on Earth. They were blown there. But according to atmospheric conditions, there aren't any storms in this area. Unless it was generated by Genghis' ship when he and Omni were fighting. If that is true, then that means it is my fault that your planet is under attack. No, oh, don't be crazy, Omni. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, not on purpose. <sighs> okay, let's take a rain check on the blame game, Brett. Mm. Right now, we've got to get our snoop on. As in, it's time to look for clues. Agreed. If we're going to defeat these predator plants, we better come up with something quick. <laughs> Invasion Watch continues with breaking news. The strange plant aliens have reportedly just mobbed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And in Sydney, the Opera House has been overrun. And the Toronto subway has just been attacked. Citizens of the world, I assure you, everything is under control. Your governments will join together to run the plant aliens off of Earth. Now, oh, this is terrible. You mean the part where the aliens are pummeling the planet, or the part where our future depends on Brett, Yoko, and Mr. Leather Jacket? 
There's no time for negativity, Bobby. We need to figure out a way to keep our defense shield intact. There's only one solution. Someone's going to have to go outside and repair the power line. Are we there yet? I'm not sure how many more hills my manly legs can take. Man, looks like we missed one heck of a party. Which may be a plus, considering something used these statues as chew toys. This civilization must have been ravaged by the plant aliens. If we do not do something soon, this is what Earth will look like. Don't worry, I'll find something that can help us. Hmm. Other than giving us some comic relief, I'm not sure how that helps. Uh, good news is, you found the plant aliens. Uh. And the bad news is, I'm starting to feel incredibly nauseous. comes the welcoming committee! Well, there's only one thing we can do in this situation. Calculate the odds and develop an intelligent fight scenario? No. Run for it! Ah! What about me? Oh, I knew we were forgetting something. Follow me in the water. I think I found their weakness. Ah! How hard can it be to outsmart them? They're just plants. Ah! Uh, whoever has their elbow in my ear, do you know where we are? Beats me. You have any ideas, Squirt? I'll take that as a no. Hmm, it smells so good. I believe the order is coming from Josh. How disturbing! They're getting ready to feast on us! Uh, I hear that sometimes it helps to sing to plants. Uh, normally I'd be against the Yoko Serenade, but hey, what do we got to lose? <clears throat> plants, you may. Perhaps your song was too deeply poetic for their simple tastes. Speaking of which, I actually taste pretty good. Which, in this case, is a really bad thing. Don't give up yet. I have an idea. That rock looks like it's filled with metallic deposits. Omni might be able to use his magnetic power to draw us towards it. Excellent notion, Brent. I will give it a try. Everyone, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that obviously wasn't part of my plan. Sorry, team. Aw, don't feel bad. It was pretty good for your first time. <laughs> There are three minutes of auxiliary power remaining. <sighs> so it's agreed. We'll dig a tunnel under the defense shield to the main power line so it can be repaired. But who's going to be the person to go? Hmm. Forget it! There's no way I'm going out there! I've already been inside one of those creeps today! Well, I'll do it! Back in my day, I, I was quite the nimble athlete. Really? In what sport exactly? Ah, uh, nobody stood a chance against me at Cosmic Chess! <laughs> I had all the slick moves. <laughs> uh, pardon? 
Pardon me, Mr. S, but I don't think we have the time to dig a tunnel quite that wide. Oh, I guess I have put on a few pounds since my chest days. Don't worry. As the school's leader, it's my responsibility to go out there. But I'm the smallest, fastest, and most agile. Face it, sir, I should be the one to go. All right, Toby, but please be careful. Hmm. The school's power supply is a series of geothermal energy pulses that are transported through a liquid nitrogen line pipe. Translation, if I make any mistakes, I get dusted. Correct. Unfortunately, the tunnel is too narrow for you to carry anything to protect you, so it's important that you keep a low profile. Uh, trust me, the last thing I want is those freaky plants knowing I'm out there. Once you get to the power line, you'll use this laser tool to fuse the damaged section. Ah, uh, you should go. Our backup power is just about gone. Good luck, Toby. No worries. I'll be back in a flash. Coast is clear. Time to do this. <gasps> Come on, Toby. You can make it. Oh no, Toby, look out! She can't hear us, and without anything to protect her, she's a sitting duck out there! Just another few seconds and I'm home free. Okay, this is seriously not cool. <laughs> but this is... <laughs> Liquid nitrogen from the pipe is frozen those pesky plant aliens! There's just seconds of auxiliary power left. This is cutting it extremely close. Next spring. Ah! ah, some moves, Toby. We're running at full power. And it looks like you figured out a way to stop those green goons in their tracks. Yes, it appears that they're susceptible to the cold. This could change everything. Ah! I'm afraid this battle isn't over. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Is there any way to stop these things? Sorry I let you down, guys, but I really tried. Don't worry about it. At least we'll have one last meal with our favorite new friend. Don't you mean we'll be one last meal? Something tells me this is payback for all the salads I've eaten in my life. Though I must admit, I always imagine that being eaten would sound crunchy, not hissy. That's because it isn't the sound of eating. It's the sound of unexpected company. Whatever they are, they're making the plant aliens mighty nervous, which makes me mighty happy. thing you've said all day, Squirt. Oh, but hello there, little cutie. Who are you? Hey, Yoko, if you want to stick around and play petting zoo, you're going to have to hitchhike home. Maybe we should take him with us. I mean, who knows? We just might learn something. That is a good point. These insects are the only predators of the plant aliens that we have found. Exactly. And Bravero is just the insect to help us. Rivero? What's that, the name of the species? No, I named him Rivero, on account he's a brave hero for saving us. 
Oh, I really should know better than to ask. Oh, no! It's Genghis's ship. He must have been holed up near this planet since our last confrontation. Maybe if we get back to the Hornet right away, there won't be another battle. Huh? Uh, we've really got to remember to lock our doors. So, you finally showed up. We have unfinished business. Oh, really? I was kind of thinking all our business was pretty much done with. <laughs> Not by a log shot. Yeah? You just wait until I unleash my fit of fury. Hiya! Yoko, watch out! Ow! Ouch! Bad idea. So much for my ballet career. So we don't have time for your cosmic bullying. There's a nasty weed infestation to deal with back on Earth. Hey! Okay, you can keep them. My gift to you. What are you doing, Brett? Running a thermophysical scan of Genghis to isolate his weak points. Are you joking? I don't have any weak points. I'm inclined to agree. You've been avoiding me, Omni. Gee, I wonder why. Okay, so karate moves, laser blades, and computer scans don't work. How do we beat this creep? Well, I'm not sure, but things just got more complicated. It looks like we're gonna have to go to Plan P. Pile on! Uh, Where do you think you're going? A little something we call the Martial Mash. Now give us back our friend. Guys, this is my fight. Go and save yourselves. But we need to do something fast. As if, Omni. We're a team. There's no way we're gonna leave you behind. Those plants look like they've got the major munchies. Hey, give me that back. You're gonna regret ever laying a hand on me. Good thinking, boy. Okay, everyone, get back. And you're going on a little trip. No, get away from me. That was an intriguing idea, Fluffy. No time for a victory celebration. We've still got some vicious vegetation to deal with. Let's go! Come on! Well, looks like that's the last we'll see of that buffed up fatty. Outwitted by an ultra pet. Couldn't have happened to a nicer bounty hunter. Apparently, you do not know Genghis like I do. What do you mean? We totally took him out! <sighs> do not be so sure about that. Oh, so you want to play rough, eh? Let him have it, Yoko! has a customized protective shield that is able to absorb all types of laser fire. Uh, is there anything this guy hasn't thought of? Okay, how about this for a plan? We give Genghis what he really wants! Omni! Brett! What? But it's the only way! Like I said, you do not know Genghis like I do. Now that he knows we are a team, he's not gonna let any of us go. My killer moves beg to differ. Ha! <laughs> Let's see him keep up with that! This is going to be most unpleasant. 